Hi, I'm Mark Spencer, president of Aquametrics. I've had this nifty espresso machine for about 10 years. Over the last couple of years, I noticed that the flow of coffee had slowed down and become erratic. Well, I concluded that the pump was failing and there was time to buy a new machine. Well, that is until this morning when I discovered that the metal filter disassembles for cleaning. Two minutes of cleaning and it's working like new. Well, I'm a guy, I don't read the manual. The same thing happens with many of our customers in their Aquametrics differential probes. What makes this sensor so special is that simply by replacing the reference solution and the salt bridge a few times a year, it will last for years. I can't tell you how many times I've talked to an end user who discarded a perfectly good sensor simply because he thought it had expired when in fact all it needed was five minutes of inexpensive maintenance. In this video, I'll walk you through basic maintenance that will keep your Aquametrics differential probe working for years. I'll be using our signature P60C8 probe and the Shark 120. First, let's answer the basic question, how do I know when to change the reference solution and the salt bridge? In a typical setup, you would change the reference solution about every three months and the salt bridge every six months. You would also clean off the process electrode with every reference solution change. But no installation is truly typical and you might find yourself doing maintenance on the probe every week or once a year. Fortunately, it's easy to tell when your probe needs a little TLC. Let's talk about the reference solution first. Now, there are two telltale signs that let you know you need to change the reference solution. Both arise from the calibration, which I assume you're doing at least once a month. One, the efficiency of the probe falls below 90%. Or two, the pH of the probe after calibration is very different from the pH before calibration. To change the reference solution, simply unscrew the salt bridge. For the 8 series probes, we use a hex driver. For the other probes, a spanner wrench, tweezers, or the force. So simply pour out the old reference solution, like so, and pour a new solution. When you purchase a salt bridge kit, we'll provide you with pH buffer for your convenience. However, pH 7 buffer is very inexpensive and you ought to have plenty around for routine calibration. For good measure, rinse the reference well and then fill the well. I'm filling it just up to the bottom. What can happen is that the hydrostatic pressure of the salt bridge screwed against the liquid will cause the reference electrode to break and that's going to make you cry. Screw the salt bridge in, about hand tight, and you're done. Now that you've changed the solution, you'll need to recalibrate the probe. If you need a refresher on doing that, just check out video number three. When you do the calibration, check the efficiency. Hopefully you will see that it has improved. Now about that salt bridge, in general, you'll need to replace it two, maybe three times a year. The telltale signs that it needs replacing is that the probe becomes very sluggish. A clogged salt bridge does not affect the efficiency of the probe, only its response. Salt bridges are very inexpensive and come in packages of three. Now that you've changed the solution, you will need to recalibrate the probe. If you need a refresher on doing that, just check out video number three. When you do the calibration, check the efficiency. Hopefully you'll see that it has improved. When you do change the salt bridge, Remember, you have to change the reference solution too. And as with all maintenance, you have to recalibrate the probe. One last order of business when maintaining a differential probe is cleaning the electrode. This is the glass bulb that sticks into the process. If it becomes coated, your probe will become sluggish and its efficiency will drop. When you calibrate your probe, you should clean off the bulb simply by brushing it with a toothbrush dipped into mild detergent, then rinsing it in water and follow it up with a rinse and pH 4 buffer or a weak acid. Now if the probe continues to show a weak response, a weak acid will clean off scaling and organic deposits. White vinegar for about four hours should do the job. That's about it. Follow these simple steps of, of maintenance and for a few dollars a year, your Aquametrics probe will work like new for years to come. Thanks.